Welcome back, Todd Chammer fans. After a long holiday, uh, we are playing Echoes of War, a demise of a legend, sort of, uh, using the basic rules for it, even though there are no Ultramarines or Abaddon, uh, but we'll get into that. Uh, we actually have the Orcs against Chaos today. Uh, started with 15 CPs for the Orcs and 14 for Chaos. Uh, Pre-game CPs were used. Uh, the Orcs with the Warlord of Gazpul Thraka, uh, with the trait Proper Kili, adds one to his attack. Then we have uh, a Warped. We turned a Weird Boy into Warped with an extra Psychic Power and give him more path into jump along with smite and then we have a big mech in mega armor who's going to take the shiny gubbins of the dead shiny shuta and then we have a detachment of orc snake bites with uh, the war boss who we spent a cp to take brog's buzz bomb and he has a weird boy with him carrying the fist of gork power uh then let's go over to the crimson slaughter over here with our warlord is Acretus, not abaddon uh, but he will be playing the role of Abaddon with Warlord Trade of Hatred Incarnate. Uh, the Renegades can advance and charge, and the Sorcerer has, uh, uh, I can't read that. Warp Time, Warp time and Prescience, and, uh, Dark Apostle with his Black Mace. And then, we'll see how that goes. Uh, basically all the wars, all the, uh, the, let's see, the Demise of a Legend is basically your two Warlords are just gonna fight and slug it out at the beginning of the battle and go from there. And then everybody else will try to kill each other and hope they don't get rained fire on them during the battle. Let's get into the Orc army here with the 1st Battalion Detachment here for the Goth army. Along with Gazkul who's on the uh, the dual zone right now, we have this weird boy who is actually the Warped. And we have three units of 30 boys, a mix of 20 Slugachapas and 10 Shootas in each one of those along with the knob. And then we have the Death Dread in the middle here with the Gorkonaut and the debut of the Burner Bama version. And then we have a unit of 15 of the Storm Boys. And then we have a unit of knobs uh, right here that all have five kill saws. And then we have two Slugachapa knobs there. And then in the background, we have a Pain Boy and a knob with Wog Banner. And then we get into the Snake Bite Detachment Battalion. We have a Weird Boy and a War Boss with his Attack Squig. And then we have three units of 10 Gretchen and their movement trays, those are also the debut. And then to keep it real, we have the three, the unit of three Bubble Chuckas with their Grot crew. So we just said all the Gretchen and Grot, we're gonna be Snake Bites today. And then let's get into another detachment here of the spearhead with the, let's start off with the the big mech with mega armor with his teleport blaster and Captain Batruck with his ammo run. And then we got a unit of five mega knobs, uh, three of those with two kill saws and two of those with big shooters and power claws. Then we got two units of five flash gets and then we have, oh, that's a Supreme Detachment back here. That's a uh, Boss Ag Truck. We got a Big Mech with Shock Attack Gun. And then we have a Big Mech with a Custom Force Field. And then part of that uh, Spearhead, we got this Battle Wagon with uh, Def Rola. And then we have Debut again of a, on top of the Mega Knobs, we got the Truck with the big old rusty ball of maceness. Um, and then we have uh, another debut of the uh, Lutas. We got five Lutas there. Then we have another knob with a Wog Banner. And we have some Burner Boys back here. And that makes up uh, 37 points worth of orcs. Let's start off with the army introductions here in the dual zone where we have the orc warlord, Gazkul Thraka. And we have the chaos warlord, as I, uh, warlord in uh, Terminator army there terminator armor there so those two will be in the dual zone until one of them potentially gets rid of the other and then the rest of the chaos army we're looking at this battalion with the demon prince and karanak along with three different units of blood letters and then we have a unit of flesh house and then we have one skull throne here and one already on the battlefield and then we have some Blood Crushers, 
And then we get into the other detachment, the other battalion, which we have a Forge Fiend and a Mauler Fiend, along with some Chaos Raptors with their Harkon World Claimer. Uh, and then we have a Sorcerer and an Exalted Champion. And then we have some Chaos Space Marines here. And then we have some, uh, let's see, that's the Rhino and two Hellbrutes, along with that Chaos Cultist to fill out the Battalion. Chosen. And the Chosen. And that is 3,700 points worth of Chaosness. And as the deployment of 7,400 points happens, uh, we have this Burn Obama just looking over the whole field. And we'll get into the mass hysteria that is, like I said, 7,400 points. Within 12 inches of each side, we're doing all the deployment. Uh, we'll just kind of take a look here. We have a lot of things on these objectives and at the start of each turn after turn one, bad things can happen potentially around the objectives or just on the board. Um, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Main battle right here. End of orc, turn one. As the centerpiece, we draw back. Uh, did some moving, let's go over that a little bit quickly here. Just kind of slid forward here. Slid forward there, but he kind of slid forward. These guys kind of slid back to kind of get in cover for right now, just in case. Uh, more sliding forward. Then we got the Psychic Phase. We cast Warpath and a jump on a group of boys that were right here. They are right there. Fast forward. <laughs> Failed the charge roll. So, uh, but they do have Warpath on them, so uh, if they survive some battling, maybe they'll get to use that. Uh, then we did some shooting. Uh, Big Mech with Shock Attack Gun. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing, so not a surprise. Uh, not much other shooting happening over here with distances. Uh, truck got to shoot. Uh, nicked a wound off of one of these uh, Space Marines. So that's good. Uh, then I believe... Uh, oh! Bubble Chuckus. Uh, all two, what, the one on the far right there. Shot at the Rhino. Uh, with all the multiple rolling. Only one went through all the way. Good news, damage was five on that roll. So half his wounds. So he's down to five. These other two just totally whiffed on the Hellbrood over there. Uh, then we had the Burnabama fly across the board into that corner. Dropped a Burnabama on the Space Marines right here. It was a group of ten. Uh, four of them suffered mortal wounds, so four of them died with the uh, first Burnabama there. Um, and missed all of its shooting for the most part, so uh, that was fun. Then we got to the fight phase. Real fun part, right? Inside the Cone of Doom, or uh, the Duel Zone. And uh, Gazkul did some swinging with his six attacks. Ended up taking off uh, six wounds. So he is down to 19 wounds, since they both have 25 to start. Uh, and then had to deal with the fight back. Luckily, he is the prophet of Gork and Mork, so didn't suffer any damage. He's still on 25 wounds. Let's get ready for Chaos, turn one. End of the Chaos, turn one. These Blood Letters and Blood Crushers successfully charged in and wiped the squad of Blue Boys that were just here for their participation medals. Uh, they are now gone. Uh, so well done there. Blood letters, blood crushers, blood killers. Uh, then we had these two skull cannons over here uh, between them. Took out two knobs over there and then two boys over there. Uh, and luckily with morale of 157,000 boys around them, morale's not an issue. Uh, then this was where the real fun happened. Um, all of these two Chaos Marines, or sorry, three Chaos Marines, uh, took, nicked a couple wounds from this truck, so they're doing some damage over there just with some bolters. Uh, but good news is they failed a four-inch charge, uh, or bad news if you're a weird chaos player, but that's cool. Uh, then luckily, strategically, this uh, rhino, the menace and melee that it is, snuck in there and clogged up the space. Thank you. Oh my god, that was so life-saving. Um, but luckily, the... The uh, power fist claw thing of the smaller fiend took uh, like 10 wounds or something off of this battle wagon uh, with its four attacks. Uh, and luckily, it only has four attacks. <laughs> or oh, that's what you'd like to think. <laughs> uh, but with these six tentacles here, got six more attacks and took another couple wounds off of it. So he is down to seven wounds on that battle wagon. Put him in another bracket, which really affected his... Uh, fight back from six attacks down to just the two attacks, so he didn't do anything in the attacks But uh, that's where we stand at the end of turn one uh, now. We're ready for the relative orbital bombardment possibility All right in between the turns we have to 
subtlety, the rain of devastation. Uh, we get to roll on this table. Uh, rolled a three, so we had a rain of debris, which is on a roll of one for each objective marker. Uh, anything within d6 inches suffers d3 mortal wounds. So then we rolled off. Uh, I rolled for one and two, not a one, but on uh, objective marker here, number three, rolled. And then rolled a five, so anything within five inches of this objective marker suffered d3 mortal wounds. So these boys uh, suffered two mortal wounds, so twos are gone. And then these uh, burner boys here also suffered two, so two of them died. Then we had the chaos roll off. Uh, number four and five, no problem. Six also did a uh, did one. So apparently the debris just fell on this half of the world. Uh, luckily on the D3, he rolled a six. So we lost a blood, blood crusher and then rolled a five. So lost three blood letters. So that debris, I'll take two boys and two burner boys for a blood crusher and three blood letters all day. Now let's get into turn two. End of orc. Turn two, we'll start here in the movement phase when the Blitz of Bama dropped its last burn a bomb over these blood letters. After three disappeared because of Scrapple falling from the sky, uh, the burn a bomb took out uh, five more. So that was fun. Uh, and then we did some shooting over here to these blood letters. Uh, in between shooting and melee with the burner boys, they all disappeared. And then these boys and knobs charge into these blood crushers over here. Um, killed a lot of them. They fought back, killed five more boys. Uh, but luckily with morale, no one to regenerate the warp back in time. And uh, luckily they ran away. So that was good. Uh, and then we had some boys get rid of the sneaky Karanak that was hiding under here. <laughs> who tried to deny a psychic phase, which alerted me to his presence. Uh, Ninja Karanak, that's a good name. Uh, it, but with these uh, Warpath boys that got in there, they did like 872,653 damage. Um, so that was fun, because they are Scar Boys, so they're Strength of Five. Uh, Warp Boy did some, uh, sorry, the uh, Warphead did suffer three Perils of the Warp because of a 2d3 stratagem played when he suffered Perils. So got four Four wounds, but luckily the uh, the pain boy right there saved him one, so he is still alive and people around him didn't die. So that's magic. Um, then we did some shooting over here with Captain Batruck and some flash kits. Cleaned out uh, these three space marines that are right there in front of the truck uh, and took out another one or two of this group of space marines, so that was fun. Uh, then we got into the real fun part. Uh, these Ludas did jump out of there, but the real fun part, sorry, all the melee going out over here. Um, Battle Wagon was in the Mauler Fiend's way. Uh, and they kind of just smacked each other upside the head and uh, got him down to four wounds at Mauler Fiend with that Death Rolla. Because uh, I did get six attacks with that Death Rolla. Then uh, these Mega Knobs jumped out before the movement phase and they torched this Rhino that was right here. Uh, so it blew up. It did not blow up, but it was decimated. And then these ten... Why are there seven? Yeah, those ten guys jumped out. Uh, but three of them tripped and hit their head on the ground and they died in the flame. So three ones when they uh, d disembarked involuntarily. So lost three there, so that's awesome. Then the war boss, uh, ju they jumped over here after getting the Fist of Gork. Uh, got in here, attacked Squig, took a, took a wound off of this Hellbrute, Tentacles, and then he did a couple more. Got him down to one, then he fought back, got the war boss down to three wounds. So it's probably not looking too good for next round. Um, but the fun part, uh, up here in the, uh, dual zone, the dual attack area, uh, Gaskul and the, and the Chaos Lord going back and forth. Chaos Lord is down to 10 wounds from his starting 25. Gaskul hanging on with, uh, 21, because Gaskul is the prophet of Gork and Mork. Wow. Chaos turn two. End of the Chaos turn two. Shooting phase, these two Skull Cannons lit up some boys and some knobs over there, took out two knobs. Maybe, I think that's what they took out total. So a bunch of wounds did there. Um, then some cultists that were over here. Uh, they did some shooting and some charging and fighting with the boys. Took out a total of 10 boys. Uh, and then the boys fought back in with quite a few uh, battle uh, attacks there. Wiped the cultists, so they're gone. Um, then we did some shooting over here also with the 
Forge Fiend and the Sorcerer and these Space Marines, they all uh, teamed up to take off the five wounds off the truck and it, ex it, it it's gone, it didn't explode, thank goodness, because I had nothing but friendlies around it, orcs. Uh, so that's good. Um, these two Hell Brutes, really not even both of them, the first one, uh, wiped the War Boss off the table uh, pretty well. So War Boss is gone. And then um, the Mauler Fiend here took another couple of wounds off of the Battle Wagon. He's down to five now. And these Mega Knobs were attacked by the Chosen. Overall took out two wounds off of one of the Mega Knobs, and then the Mega Knobs fought back and got rid of the Chosen. And then we got over to where you see dead orcs over there. That's where the Flesh Hounds is deep struck, charged the weird boy successfully, and um, just chewed off all his limbs and spit it out because nobody likes orcs to taste. Um, and I think that's about it for the end of turn two. So we got quite a few units up in reserve that will come out this turn after we see if anything comes falling from the sky. And then Gazcool finally finished off the Chaos Lord in the dual zone. So he's just gonna sit there because he can't leave, but that is a minor victory for the orcs. So top of through three, we roll the Reign of Devastation. Roll to four. So that means we roll a D6 to see which objective marker has units within three inches suffered D3 mortal wounds. Roll to two. So we come over here to objective two. Unfortunately, nothing within three inches. So that got pelted by some asteroids or something, but everybody survives. No mortal wounds. Let's go to orc turn three. And it looks like after the top of the third turn, uh, we're gonna go ahead and call this game because serious damage was brought from the orcs to the chaos. Started off with the Bubble Chukka, uh, taking out the last remaining wounds on the first Hell Brutes. Uh, and then the Kill Sawed Mega Knobs came in and split their charge against the remaining Hell Brutes and the Mauler Fiend. And between two Power Claws and three sets of Kill Saws, both of those were wiped off the board. Then we did, uh, we did do some shooting over here with these five flash kits finally. Um, they did all 15 shots into this section over here that did have three space marines. Missed everything, but they were gun crazy show off, so they got to do it again and they hit everything and really wiped those guys off. Uh, and then since we're in this hole right here, Def Dread, 10 inches away, Claimed a charge against the sorcerer here, who supercharged his plasma and rolled a one. Uh, I already used his command point reroll in the shooting phase this turn, so um, he just wiped himself off the board. Thanks for playing, that was fun. Then the uh, Gorgonaut dropped in over here, uh, more like back here, after a failed charge against the Forge Fiend. Then another failed, here we go, charge. Command point re-rolled finally to get my nine. Uh, and then the Claw of Gork, or possibly Mork, uh, took eight wounds off of the Forge Fiend who had eight wounds. So he was gone. Um, and then with a whole bunch of charging and shooting, this unit of five Flesh Hounds, uh, four were killed in the shooting phase because everybody shot at him. And then the knob with the Wog Banner uh, poked him in his heart, if he even has a heart. Doubt it. Uh, and uh, Kill took the last two wounds off of him. Uh, so he was wiped off. So at the end of the game, we're going to call it with Gazcool standing triumphantly on the, uh, the dual zone. Uh, and only really 30 blood letters and uh, some, some, some vector raptors, just raptors, chaos raptors coming in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call it. And uh, orcs. Good rolling, good meleeing, because that's what they do. And they did do some shooting, too. That was fun. Way to go. Wow.